Hi guys, Sayed here. In this video, I'll be showing you my review of uh, Android L that is currently running on my Nexus phone. As you can see, I have a Nexus 5 and I'm currently running Android L onto my device and this is the developer's preview. So the new version is yet to come to be released on the Nexus platform. So when you just switch on the device, you can see the lock screen available here and Google has done a very excellent job giving us the simplicity that we need onto our device with the uh, uh, smoothness that uh, I always uh, want uh, smoothness onto my device. So let's uh, go towards the lock screen and you can see uh, the uh, you can find the not notification displayed here and uh, also you'll be finding each and everything depends on the animation that uh, Google has uh, uh, given us. For instance if I just swipe up you can see the clock fading and the notifications also fading. The same thing implies with the uh, dialer option when I just swipe towards the right side you can see a circular mark appearing and the same implies with the uh, camera option when I just swipe towards the left side so the circular bar appears. Now when you talk about the home screen I'm just going into the home screen right now and uh, you can see the icons has also been changed giving us the flatter and more polished look uh, for the device and uh, also I have noticed very uh, excellent animations that uh, has been introduced in Android L for instance each and everything does the animation that we want for instance like to go into the calculator application you can see the application the application just comes from below and you can see the animation appearing and each and everything the status bar changes its color and uh, it also gives you a smoother uh, uh, experience when you talk about the notification as you can see when I just swipe towards uh, down you can see the notifications appearing you can just tap and hold uh, to access whether which notification has given us the uh, notification option for instance I'll just showing you right now just true color I have got a notification from true color and you can see face by my whatsapp notification has come and when I just tap and hold on it you can see it will be telling us that whatsapp has sent you a notification and you can also uh, tap on this i option here and uh, go and uh, access your notification for instance if you want to block the notification from this app you can block it from here and also if you want to just give the priority notification for instance if you just swipe also you won't be able to dismiss it until and unless you go into the application and uh, uh, access the notification so this has been the subtle changes that has been added to android l to give you a better look and experience and um, also when you swipe more down you'll be getting you can access your toggles option here available and you can see your wi-fi your airtel your uh, network flashlight airplane mode portrait mode landscape mode and also your brightness increase and decrease option if you want to just uh, switch on the 3g or lte toggle you can just do it directly from your notification center as you can see just tap on this on this your uh, service provider and you can access your cellular data and also you can manage as uh, what limit you want to keep onto your cellular data so it's a good thing and also on your notification center you can access your battery options your settings and also your user profile i'm just getting uh, to it later on in this video so each and everything gives you the best animation and you can see the app drawer, app drawer that is provided on android l i think the final version the background would be uh, transparent giving you a better look transparent look so as you can see the animations are really smooth i'll be just also showing you the version that i'm currently running and you can see i'm running android 5.0 build number is lpx 13d so let's see what changes have uh, uh, android l brought into the settings option when you go into your display option you can see adaptive brightness has also been added and uh, also when you go into your sounds and notification you just scroll down you, you can see here uh, app notifications are available here you can see and also you can and you know, notification access has also been added if you lock your device you can uh, hide sensitive notification content as i'll be showing you right now when i just switch on the device you can see the whatsapp i won't be able to see my whatsapp as my device is logged so it's a good thing uh, google has added this type of feature on Android L. So now let's go towards the 
battery option here you can see battery graph is indicated here and project volta has also been introduced along with the android l which gives you a better battery life uh, on your device for instance in your battery option you can also switch on the battery saver you can see just toggle it on and you'll be finding the orange bars appearing top and below where you where the animations will be taken away you won't be finding any animations and the battery life will be increased to almost one and a half hour as per my use so if you want to switch off the battery saver option you just have to swipe towards the notification center and just tap off battery saver and it will be switched off so the other thing that android l has brought us is the user user and profiles option for instance as you can see I have my apps installed onto my device and I want to give it to someone like like my friends to view the device I just switch on the guest mode and you can see in the guest mode is switching switching off and also you can just tap on yes to continue and you can see all the applications are gone and you can easily uh, give your device to someone that can view so it's a great thing the user profile option has been available in Android L. Let's switch it uh, back to owner. So as you can see, so it's been there. And you can add, I think, five users uh, at a time so that, uh, for instance, like kids mode, age, and everything can be added. And uh, also, when you go into your security option, when you scroll down, you can see screen pinning is on for instance I'll be showing you right now and you just toggle it on and uh, when you go into your multitasking tray you can see here the pin like uh, uh, appearance will be available and you just tap on it you can see uh, the pin screen pinning is available and you can access your uh, the settings option only you won't be able to go back to your home screen or access your notifications unless and until just tap and hold these two options here and you can see the device has been now unlocked and you can use your uh, screen pinning use your uh, phone in a desired manner so just uh, let me switch off the screen pinning option here so this has been introduced in Android L and I have found the, a great battery life onto my device for instance I am using this as said uh, for almost two days and I didn't find any battery drain, drain or uh, the battery is preserved uh, in a very good manner giving you an extra battery life and also when you just swipe it down you can access your battery options as said your settings and also your user profile option available here through, right through your notification center so this is a very good thing that Android L has introduced and when you go into your dialer option you can see new animations has been added and we just swipe it down the uh, dialer option will be towards the extreme right side to give you the best possible viewing for their content. Each and every application gives you an animation for instance if I launch the Instagram uh, uh, application you can see from bottom it does come and from top it just goes down giving you a better animation Android L as per my view and opinion gives you best animation along with smooth UI and uh, trust me when you use your Nexus device uh, running Android L you won't be getting bored you will be you will like each and every um, um, animation or each and everything that uh, has been provided in Android L well, let's just see how the keyboard uh, is in Android L. As you can see, the keyboard layout is like this, giving you a flatter, simpler look. So this is Android L, and it 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 just blows away my mind as using. And you can see that I am an iOS user and have been using iOS since the past two years. Now I have converted to Android, and Android L, the best thing that has happened to me. Uh, and it gives you a better look, better UI and more smoothness. So this was my preview and hands on with Android L on my Nexus 5 tablet, uh, phone. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video please do give it a thumbs up and also do subscribe me for more content related videos that I'll be doing on to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Google+. Till then, I'll be seeing you in my next video.